factors that will determine future profit margins. Should you buy property with better facing or high floor and unblocked view so that it will give you better profit? Hi everyone, I'm Joyce from Selling Singapore Property. Today, I'm going to go through with you what are the factors that determine your future profit margins. Many buyers have asked me what are the factors they should look out for when they buy their property so that they can have the maximum profit margin. So today, I'm going to go into floor level and view or facing and whether are they the correct indicators to determine future profit margin. If given a choice when they buy, I'm sure many buyers will opt for better facing, for example, pool facing, unblocked view, high floor and non-west facing. Let us dive deep into the figures now to find out whether these factors are really important and will determine the profit margin when you sell in future. My first example is the Clement Canopy which is a popular project in Clemente. Let's look at two units with different facing and their profit margin. These two units are 635 square feet and 657 square feet and they are two bedroom layout. Both owners bought at about the same time in 2017. The one on stack 4 facing the road was bought at 868,000 and the one on stack 9 facing the pool was bought at 939,000 with a differences of 71,000. The unit on level 11 was sold at 1.1 million and level 26 was sold at 1.05 million. Therefore, the profit for level 11 is 232,000 and the profit for level 26 is 111,000. My second example is Commonwealth Towers which is located next to Queenstown MRT. Let's look at two units of the same size with different level and their profit margin. These two units are 689 square feet and they are two bedroom layout. Both owners bought in May 2014. The one on level 20 was bought at 1.016 million and the one on level 39 was bought at 1.188 million with the differences of 172,500. Few years later, the unit on level 20 was sold at 1.3 million and the profit is 283,000. And the unit at level 39 was sold at 1.32 million and the profit was 131,000. Why is it that these two lower floor units make a higher profit than their higher floor units in these two developments? In these two examples, I have shown you that the unit selection is important at the entry level. It's not about buying the highest level or the best facing that will get you the maximum profit when you sell it. However, that does not mean you should always look at lower floor or undesirable facing. Now let me share the third example with you. This is Coco Palms, a beautiful development located near to Passeris MRT. Given there are two units of three bedroom layout here with 904 square feet, both owners bought it in June 2014. The unit on level 5 with Full pool view facing was bought at 967,000 and the unit on level 7 with partial pool view facing and close proximity to the opposite block was bought at 953,000. The purchase price for these two units have a small differences of 14,460. However, when they were sold, the unit on level 5 was sold for 1.225 million and the profit was 257,000, while the unit at level 7 was sold for 1.1 million and the profit was 146,000. The differences in their profit is 110,000. It's a huge difference in the profit compared to their minimal differences in their purchase price. So the scenario here is that if both units are available for sale at around the same price, you should go for the better facing one as it has a higher potential to be sold for higher profit and maximum capital gain. My last example would be Martin Modern located in Martin Place in District 9. Let's look at two units with the same size and stack but at different levels. Both owners bought at around the same time in 2017. The one on level 8 made a profit of 1.146 million while the one on level 3 made a profit of 629,000 a significant differences of 517,000 in profit. In this scenario, it's important to understand the demographics of the development location and select the right unit to buy accordingly in order to achieve the maximum profit margin. Regardless of whether you are purchasing during launch or in the resale market, it is important to spot the right unit during entry. In today's market, there are still new launches which are undervalued and their prices still have great potential upside when selling in the resale market in the future. I've come to the end of my video today. If you have a particular project in mind and are not sure which unit will have a higher potential, don't hesitate to reach out to me so that I can share my analysis with you. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media account as I will be sharing more property videos beneficial to your property journey. I'm Joyce and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!